Hi everyone, this is Dr. Aishwarya. I am an ENT surgeon, currently associated with Ramaya Medical College and Hospital, Bangalore. So sinuses are air-filled spaces in our skulls. There are four paired sinuses, frontal sinus, ethmoidal sinuses, maxillary sinuses and sphenoid sinuses. So each sinuses have an opening called the ostia. So the ostia helps in the airflow in and out of the sinuses through the nose. Sinuses are lined by a thin mucous membrane which secretes mucus. Coming to sinusitis. Sinusitis is when there is blockage in the opening of the sinuses or the ostia or inadequate drainage of the mucus out of the sinuses. Uh, uh, to make you understand this process in an easier way, I would like to give an example of the drainage uh, system. So when there is stagnation or when there is blockage in the drainage system and stagnation of the fluid, this stagnation of fluid is a breeding ground for various infectious diseases as we know. Similarly, in our sinuses, when the mucuses get accumulated, because of the blockage in the sinus openings or the ostias, there will be a secondary bacterial or viral infections which, which leads to inflammation of the sinus. There are various causes of sinusitis. Most commonly allergies, nasal deformities like deviated nasal septum, which is the center bone of the nose, respiratory tract infections. Also smoking causes an increased risk in causing sinusitis. Sinusitis most commonly presents as a common cold but there are few features which differentiates a common cold from sinusitis. So the various symptoms are headache, pain and pressure over the sinuses like we know over the cheeks, forehead, in between the eyes are the most common sites where there, where there will be pain and pressure. So there will be facial swelling, nasal discharge, Sometimes the nasal discharge can also be different colors like yellow and green which is again a feature of acute sinusitis. We will be talking detail about what acute and chronic sinusitis is. There can also be other symptoms like loss of smell, throat irritation, cough which worsens at night. There are two types of sinusitis, acute and chronic. We say it is acute when it doesn't when the symptoms last less than 12 weeks. Chronic is when the symptoms are there beyond 12 weeks. For example, in acute sinusitis, a patient comes to the OPD with complaints of severe headache, fever, throat irritation, nasal discharge and we'll just give them a short course of treatment which we will be discussing in detail later and they will be fine with it within few days. As in chronic sinusitis, patient presents with similar symptoms repeatedly over a long period of time. So the first line of diagnosis is the history or what the patient presents with. Like we discussed earlier, headaches, fever and various other symptoms. Again there are investigations or diagnostic tests. So the first investigation is the diagnostic nasal endoscopy where we use a tube with a tiny camera and light to examine the nasal cavity and the deformities in the nose and the sinus areas. So, and the second one would be radiological investigations like X-ray and CT scan which will help us detect any deformities, blockage in sinuses, polyps and various other conditions. So, in general we all know that with good lifestyle as in like good uh, healthy diet and exercise, it always helps in gaining good immunity for any disease for that matter. Coming to sinusitis in particular, uh, like I mentioned earlier, smoking increases the risk of sinusitis. So avoid smoking and steam inhalation, which is also effective in relieving symptoms of sinusitis. So let's discuss about the medical management of sinusitis. Eight out of 10 patients, if treated at the right time, using the right medication. So the main goal is to achieve adequate ventilation and drainage of the sinuses. Firstly, for the opening of the sinuses or for the adequate ventilation, we will be prescribing the patient a few drops which helps in opening the sinuses. Secondly, 
we can use few medications to thin down the thick mucus secretions which will help in adequate drainage of the sinuses as the patient presents with pain we can give adequate painkillers for the patients the inadequate drainage and ventilation will lead to secondary infections so patient will need a course of antibacterial treatments like antibiotics uh surgery not really actually so if sinusitis is treated at the right time with the right kind of medication 8 out of 10 patients will be relieved or they can be successfully managed with medications if the patient doesn't respond to the maximal medical therapy then we would suggest a surgery also in patients with nasal deformities like a deviated nasal septum patient presenting with polyps where medical treatment will not suffice hence it is always better to consult a doctor if you observe any of the above mentioned symptoms before it gets severe